Hey guys, it's Miko from ML Sound Lab, and uh, I want to talk to you about the ML Print family a little bit more. So, um, if you haven't heard, uh, Fractal Audio and I just released the full ML Print family in multiple different formats. Uh, you can now get all the cabs in their separate cap pack. So, for example, if you always wanted just that pre roller cap pack, you can now get the PR75 cap pack for just $29.99 and it's got the full collection of those pre-roller IRs. Uh, apart from that though, uh, the full family, thousands of IRs, 10 different Marshall cabinets are now featured in one huge cap pack that's only $99.99. So if you're really into Marshall, you may want to take a look at that. However, what I really want to talk to you about is this ML Brit Family Sampler Pack that also includes all of the 10 cabinets, but in a limited format. So essentially, you're limited to just one speaker uh, on these cap packs, uh, which is the way most IR producers uh, shoot IRs anyway. So I'm not sure if it's a limitation or not. But anyways, I want to show you how it sounds. And um, this is what you get in the sampler pack. So Obviously, you also get uh, preset cap bundles, but these are the IRs and you get all the 10 cabinets and uh, single mic options for the top right speaker for each of the cabinets and then a mix file of those IRs. So uh, 10 cabinets, all Marshall, all sound great and balanced. And I want to prove this to you because um, you cannot do this with just any IR. Uh, I have a preset here that's just using this amp sim, the Brit 800 number 34, and everything is set to noon. Everything is default and stock. I haven't touched anything here. And uh, it's just going through the IR that I choose from here. And um, I have just a tiny bit of reverb here. It's not going to do anything much. Besides that, everything is flat, no EQ anywhere. What you hear is these default settings. I haven't touched anything and the IRs that are in the sampler pack. So let's start going through them. Let's start with the mix file for the 4x10. <laughs> So obviously sounds completely like Marshall, sounds interesting. It's kind of an AC30 type Marshall sound. If, if uh, you can imagine that, I always describe the 4x10 as being kind of like a Vox type tone. Um, let's move on to the next one. So that's the 65. Obviously Robin Ford is the one who's, <laughs> who jumps to mind straight away when you start talking about 65 IR. So, um, dumbbell sound maybe is what you're after, but uh, for the sake of this preview, I'm still going to be using the same sound. So let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> So it has this really interesting nasally mid frequency character going on that really cuts through nicely. And especially for those leads, if you like Robin Ford sounds, you'll know those leads cut through in the mids in the most pleasant way. So the Brit 80s is the classic 80s speaker from Celestion. So they only made this cab in the 80s. So it's called Brit 80s. Uh, it's kind of a really old sounding speaker. Uh, let's have a listen. <laughs> So I'd say it sits somewhere in between the 65 and the 4x10 in its sound character. Uh, it doesn't have the mid hunk of the 65, but other than that, it's pretty similar to the 65. Um, uh, it's kind of scooped in the same way as the 4x10. Uh, okay, let's jump to the black back. So this is actually a really rare speaker. So it's a black back Celestion G12 H30 with a silver cap. So uh, if you're really into all this uh, vintage tone stuff, uh, you may know that uh, AC/DC used these type of speakers way back in the day. Um, so let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> So 
So um, it's probably the most scooped and modern one out of all these vintage Marshall sounds that I have here. Uh, it's really good for even metal. It's, uh, it's a really interesting sound. I'm not sure if you guys know the band Under Oath, but kind of their sound is what comes to my mind when I play with these IRs. Um, when I jump to the cream back, this, on the other hand, has the most mids out of all these. So let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> So like I said, it definitely has that mid-frequency focus. Uh, when you palm mute, it doesn't flop at all. It's all in the mid-frequencies, and, um, and I really like the sound of this. Uh, but, you know, it's really hard to tell them apart because all of them sound great. Uh, you just have to find your favorite out of this bunch. So the next one is the Chibi, and um, it's a greenback, but it's the 90s version of the greenback. So if you're really lucky and you have something like a Marshall TV cabinet or the 1960BX and it's from the 90s and you open it up, you'll find these uh, greenback speakers in there that are, in my opinion, the best greenbacks ever created. Obviously, the pre-roller greenbacks will always be best, but out of the modern greenbacks, if you can find the British-made ones from the 90s, you're really lucky. So uh, let's just hear how it sounds. It, straight out of the box has this slash type of bite to it. Uh, I just love this sound. <laughs> almost sounded like Night Train to me now that I heard that riff. And it's actually interesting because with the other IRs, I thought it didn't sound like Slash at all. It sounded more like a modern riff. But now that I heard it with that green bag, it definitely got that Slash vibe going on. So now that I jump to the HW, which stands for Hand Wired, it's got the modern G12 H30 speakers in it. And... Um, Let's hear how it sounds. I, uh, it's kind of similar to the Greenback in many ways. It's brighter than the older ones, obviously, uh, meaning the BB and the CB, which are also G12 H30 speakers. But uh, this one is the modern version of that. <laughs> So yeah, actually, um, I'm not sure if you've ever heard the metal demonstrations, but uh, when this pack came out, uh, many people were posting how metal Marshall is. So, so this is probably the best cabinet out of these for metal. Obviously, it's not just for metal. For example, ACDC have been using this modern cabinet alive for the past decade or so. So it's uh, it's definitely a versatile cabinet, uh, not just for metal, but it can handle high gain and that's always a good thing. So now we jump to the pre-roller era. Uh, let's start with the 55, probably the oldest sounding speaker out of these options. <laughs> So yeah, it's super fat, super pleasant. It's great for single notes. It's kind of the Jimmy cabinet, so to say. Uh, whenever I play a Strat and, you know, the Jimmy type thing, this is where I go. This is the one that I really recommend to everyone using a Strat and Marshall tones. This is probably the one that you want to get. The PR75, however, is the one that I use the most. Um... We'll just take a listen. I don't even have to say anything. So 
so everything is right in place. The low end is in control, mid frequencies are flat, the top end is pleasant, uh, nothing's poking out any in any weird way. It's like super great for production, sits in a mix perfectly. Like this is, like like I said before, now that the packs are being sold separately, if you want to get one, the PR705, you want to get that one. You get the most value out of any IR collection anywhere out there. So last but definitely not least, the Brit TV, the modern greenback. <laughs> interesting thing about this is that you have some stock IRs in the XFX from this cap pack and they are mixes from the C speaker also so you know you can try it out before even getting this pack but anyways so many IRs to choose from even in this sampler pack and so much variety uh, what what I think you should do is get this pack if you're unsure about which one is yours and try these IRs out and maybe if you really want to dive in deeper for example to the PR75 um, I highly recommend getting that cap pack separately um, just so you know what a pre-roller cabinet that's in really good condition sounds like I want to emphasize that sure there are many pre-roller IRs out there being sold but it's really rare to find one that's in good condition and in this example I had a pre-roller 75 hertz um, the greenback so G12 M25s uh, that are all in good condition so um, you definitely want to check this pack out uh, let's just quickly go through the single mic options as well so um, let's have a listen <laughs> So yeah, different uh, variations of brightness, of meds, scoops, more low and tight, <laughs> you know, you get all the options even from here. And you don't even have to go to the amp EQ section to get kind of different brightnesses or the type of EQ balance that you like. Uh, but obviously the mix files will be super flat straight out of the box. So um, thank you guys for watching and go check out the ML Brit family. I'll leave links below so you can just click there and get there quickly. Thank you for watching and bye.